Hey guys, it's Jasmine. So I just finished recording this makeup look for you guys and I used the Kat Von D shade light eye palette again and I'm so freaking obsessed with this palette. Like this is definitely like an everyday palette where you can create um, really really simple looks to very dramatic looks like this one I did today. I did basically like a classic smoky eye with a pop of shimmer in the inner corner. Um, and then I also did two lip options for you guys, this red lip and then a more subtle one. If you don't want to pair two bold things, lips and eyes together, but I totally love the red lip. I think it looks great together. And also the other lip option too, but if I was wearing this out, I would opt to wear the red lip. I mean, depending on my mood, but I would wear both, but I'm just saying I do like the red lip more. And yeah um also i use ruby woo lipstick and i haven't worn this in a while and it's just so freaking dry that's why i never really wear it like it's drier than like liquid lipsticks like it just makes my lips peel so much and i can't stand it but i just love the color so yeah the struggle is real with ruby woo from mac um what else oh i also use my new hourglass palette it's not like new but it's new um, and I'm not sure how I feel about it. I love it. I use some of it under my eyes and I also use some for my highlight. But it's definitely more of a subtle highlight. Definitely subtle. You have to pat the um, color on a lot to get this much of a glow. The, inc the incandescent light is basically the one that I wore am wearing right now. And the one I used in the tutorial, um, that's the most, um glowy one that's gonna give you that bam highlight so that's the one I used and I did apply it about two or three times to get this um well it's very pretty and I do love the color that I use under my eyes under my eyes because it bright brightens it a lot and it looks gorgeous um on camera and in person so yeah um that's basically all I have to say if you want to see how I got this look then just stay tuned for the tutorial bye guys so I'm going to start off by priming my eyelid with the Tarte Creaseless Eyeshadow Primer. And I'm just applying that all over my lid area. And then from the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette, I'm going to take the color Bluedwin. And I'm applying that all over my entire eye just to give me a smooth base to work with. And this just helps blending the colors that I'm going to use much easier. And then I'm going to take the color Luduin, or no, this color is Lucius. And I'll find that in my crease with a big fluffy brush. And this is going to act as my transition color. And again, this color is Lucius from the Kat Von D Shade Light Eye Palette. I'm just going to keep building the color to the intensity that I would like and I'm also going to flick that out a bit. Next I'm going to take the color latest and I'm applying that on my lid which you can skip this step. But I did it on the other eye, so I had to do it on this eye, but because I thought I was just going to use this color and not put it, put any shimmer. But I ended up putting shimmer instead of just leaving it this color in the inner corner. So like I said, you can totally skip this step. So then next, I'm going to take this black color, which is called Shax. And I'm going a little bit above the crease with this color and all the way on my lid into the inner corner but I'm just going to feather it in the inner corner and not take it all the way in can you guys see I made like a V shape so I'm just going to pat that color on and when I get to the inner corner I'm just feathering it in and not making it so opaque so now I'm going to take the color Lucius again and I'm just using that color to blend the two colors together and have a seamless look. And you just want to continue to blend until you cannot tell where the two colors meet and you have a nice gradient. So 
So for my Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in the number 2, I'm going to take this color, which is a gold champagne color, which I'm obsessed with, and I'm going to place that in my inner corner of my eye, and I'm going to kind of blend it with my finger so there isn't a harsh line between the black and the gold. So you just kind of want to feather it into the black. So now I'm just going to line my waterline. No, I'm going to tight line my eyes with this L'Oreal Coal. And then I'm going to apply my wing liner, which I normally do. So I cut this clip short and this is the NYC liquid liner that I'm using. I also applied mascara, which was the Maybelline Lash Sensational, but I did not get that clip. And then I applied my lashes, which are the House of Lashes Iconic off camera. And I already applied my foundation, and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless, which I applied off camera. And then I'm going to go in and conceal under my eyes, which I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless um, Concealer. And the color will be in the description box, but I'm applying that under my eye, bridge of my nose, um, in the center of my forehead. And I'm just going to blend that out with a damp beauty blender. Now to set my under eye concealer and the highlighted parts, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, highlighting powder in the color Mellow Yellow. And you want to make sure you pat this so that you get it inside of your creases and it doesn't crease on you. And then I'm going to go in with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm taking the color, I think this is Radiant Light, and I'm applying that under my eyes and this just brightens the eyes tremendously. I really liked how it looked but I'm not quite sold on it yet so I'm not sure how I feel about this palette quite yet. So now I'm going to align my waterline with this L'Oreal Cold that I used earlier. And then I'm going to go in with that Lucius color and I'm smoking out my bottom lash line. And then I'm going to go in with the color Shacks, and I'm only applying that to my outer corner, um, maybe like halfway in. And this is the black color that I used earlier on all over my lid. And we're just doing that to give us this smoky effect of a smoky eye, of course. And then I'm going to take that same Makeup Forever Pro Sculpting Duo in the number 2 and I'm adding some more of the gold champagne color into my inner corner tear duct area just to give me more of a pop and just in case some of the color was lost as I put on my concealer. And now moving back to the face, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Luminous Powder Foundation and I'm just applying that with a big powder brush. And this is in the color Dark Warm, I believe. But all products will be in the description box as usual. And then to contour, I'm taking the Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Shade in the color Care Up 
and I'm using this um, Sephora collection number 74 brush and I absolutely love this brush guys it works perfect for contouring it's called a contour blush brush and I absolutely love it for contouring like it's perfect so you need to get this brush it's $30 and it works great for contouring like absolutely love like do you see that contour girl and it's so soft I just I just love it totally worth the $30 So for blush, I'm using the NARS blush in the color Torrid, which is this orangey color, a little bit burnt, but not too much. I love this, it's so pretty. So for how I am going to be using the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette and I'm using the middle shade which is Incandescent Light and I'm applying that to the high points of my face. And I'm using this big fluffy fan brush and I think this one is from Coastal Scents. And I forgot to apply mascara on my bottom lashes, so you know I had to do that because can't go nowhere without bottom lash mascara with a full face of makeup. I'm telling you guys, I just need it. Whether it's a light coat or a heavy coat. And this is the Maybelline Last Sensational, which I have been using in all of my tutorials lately because I'm loving this mascara. So now moving on to lips, I'm lining my lips with MAC. Um, lip liner in Sore and this is a lip option number one the more subtle look but still popping girl and then I'm going to take max velvet teddy lipstick and I built my lips in entirely with the lip liner and I'm just applying the lipstick over that And because I want it a little more pop, I'm going to take the Sephora Collection Ultra Shine Lip Gloss in the color Perfect Nude. And I'm just going to apply that right in the center of my lips and then just blend it. But I'm only applying it in the center. And sorry I keep looking over. I'm watching Lost on Netflix. I'm obsessed with the show. I'm, I'm almost done. I know I'm late on the Lost, but I'm loving it right now. So yeah, this is lip option number one in its scorch. I'm feeling myself a little bit too much, but that's okay. So moving on to lip number two, which is Ruby Woo by MAC. And this lipstick is so drying. And I moisturized my lips before putting this on and it was still so freaking dry. But what the hey, the color is gorgeous. The perfect red color. And then guys, this is lip number two. This is the end of the makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Perfect for a night out on the town or whatever you have in mind. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up comment and subscribe if you haven't already bye guys